Hello everybody, welcome back to Survival Challenge. We are doing some logging this morning. We need some money. And we also need a place to put our brewery. It is time to start making money a little bit faster. We're progressing, but it's kind of slow right now. So we're going to try to speed things up a little bit by increasing our level of production. And I think that'll do it. We need $220, $220,000, excuse me, to, uh, to put in both the brewery and the hops production, which we need also to make beer. So my thought is that we're going to sell these trees uh, we may have enough to buy both the brewery and the hops production. If we don't, we're going to go ahead and buy the hops production. And then that will, um, that will finance the brewery. So um, I'm going to mow some grass here so that I don't lose any trees. What I'm doing is I'm cutting back a couple of rows of trees and then I'm mowing and then I'm cutting back another couple of rows of trees and then I'm mowing. So I will bring you guys back when I have cut down a few more trees. All right, that's all of our logs cut. We're going to need to mow this grass up here pretty soon, too, because I think we're going to put our brewery down on this end and leave this other end for some other productions. Uh, I am going to buy the, um, the portable sawmill that I used before in this series. Uh, I think that's just the best way to do it. It's going to take forever to try to pick up all these logs and take them to uh, take them to a sell point. So we are going to I'm trying to remember how I do this. Ah, uh, yes, production selling points. There it is, Wobble Wood sell point. So we are going to find our biggest. Biggest pile of logs here. All right. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. And we're just going to go around to every log we can find. And we're going to sell wood. So this may take a while, but I'll get back to you and let you know pretty much exactly how much we made. 
you guys saw what we had when we started. My hope is that when we're done here, we have enough money to buy both the brewery and the hops production and still have a little bit of money left over. I don't want to spend all of our money at one time. Well, we're doing okay. It could have been. Could have been better, could have been worse. I'm just going to get this done. I'm going to try to pull, push some more of these into a bigger pile. Get them all a little closer together. All right, it looks like we made about $100,000 on this small little forest here, which is great. We now have enough money. We have enough money to cover both the... Um, to cover both the brewery and the uh, hops production. I'm not sure how much money we would have left over, so I'm going to need to do a little research. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to finish mowing this grass... And this, I am actually going to go ahead and sell this. It's not expensive at all, and if we need it again, we can always buy it again. But it's just kind of a pain to keep up with. So, get that sold. Get the rest of this grass cut, windrowed, picked up, and start making some silage with it. Then I think we're probably going to sleep and wake up in the morning and put in our brewery. Or at the very least, our hops production. That's most of it picked up. I have just a bit, little bit left to pick up. I'll do that off camera. And then I'm going to sleep. And then I'll see you guys in the morning. And we will build ourselves a brewery. Well, good morning. It is December. And... 
we couldn't really have timed this more perfectly. We have a ripe barley field that we're going to harvest a little bit later. But the first thing we're going to do is put in our brewery so that we have a place to put our barley. And we probably won't have any hops right away. It's going to take a day or two to get some hops. Wow, this looks so different without all the trees there, doesn't it? It's kind of crazy. And there's very little grass left. After we mowed it. That's odd. But I think it grows back. I think it just takes a little bit of time. But let's... Uh, I think we're going to put in our brewery right about here. So let's take a look at what we got here. All right, so we have our brewery here. I think we probably want to turn it that way. And we probably really want to put it right there where I'm standing. So <laughs> hang on a minute. Let me move out of the way. Let me get way over here where I'm not anywhere near close to where we're putting it. Now we'll go back in. And we'll take a look at it. Yeah, I think so. I think we're going to put this right about here. We want to be able to get all the way around it. But we also want to be able to pick up our, our beer pallets easily. That looks good to me. And we also need to put down our hops production. It's not very big. And I think a good place to put this... would be right over here. It's not going to... Uh, we're not going to actually pick anything up from it. It's just going to ship hops over to the brewery. So I think if we tuck it right back in here, we can still get around it. And we'll, we'll, we'll be able to manage it there. Perfect. And we're not completely broke. We still have $16,000. Which is good because we're going to need some... Well, let's see exactly what we do need. For our hops plantation, we're going to need water, manure, and seeds. And for beer production, we're going to need sugar, water, hops, and barley. We have all of those things, so let's get them going. First thing we need to do is buy some, some seeds. And we'll buy... Thank you, autosave. We'll buy some of the big, big bags. And I don't remember exactly what this holds. I want to say it holds 10 or 20. So I think if we buy... We buy three of those, that's pretty much all of our money. <laughs> well, half of our money. So, yes, we're going to buy three of those. And then the best way I've found to buy fertilizer is... Uh, well, let's put these seeds in first, and then I'll show you. And the seeds last a really long time in here, so I don't foresee running out anytime soon. Yeah, that didn't even take the whole bag there. Uh, we are going to put down a... It's under container, I believe. There it is. 
It's the little wheelbarrow of manure. And we can put it right here. Fill up our trailer. And then fill the manure container. So we're going to grab our trailer. Well, we're going to need to... We're going to need to put the sides back on it. The manure in this uh, in this particular cell point is very very inexpensive. Let's see, ten thousand liters is three hundred and thirty dollars. That's hard to beat. I'm not sure exactly how much manure this thing takes. Let's see. It is full. Excellent. So I'm just going to drop this off right here. Grab our water tanker. in it. That's where we put the water fill. All right, I'm going to fill up both the hops production and the brewery. And I'll bring you back when we're ready to start harvesting some barley. All right, we've got water for the hops. We've got water for the beer. So now it's time to bring in the barley. Let me go get that trailer that we used. Get this over here so we have somewhere to put this barley. Well, it looks like we still have some <laughs> some sorghum in our sugar beets. Oh well. I thought we had sorted that out, but apparently we didn't. Alright, I'm gonna put this right over here. Grab the harvester. All right, let's bring in this barley.
that's the the last of the hops in the silo. I think we got about 50,000 liters. Unfortunately, we can only put 10,000 liters in our brewery, so I think I'm going to get somebody out here to take a look at it, see if they can increase the tank size, and maybe fit 50,000 liters in the brewery so we don't have to put hops or put uh, barley in there quite so often. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode. We got a lot done. We cut down a bunch of trees here. This looks so different. We got a brewery now. Um, we've got hops in it and barley and sugar and water. And soon we're going to have beer. So if you like this episode, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. If you did not like this episode, please post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time.